on Mars and Nairo get a 3-0 on Byron. So we're going to jump into, I believe this is uh, Salem fighting off against Wishes. So, you know, Salem oh. rocking the signature snake. This is actually on a Wishes stream. He's uh, playing off with his, a signature Pokemon trainer. Yes, yes. Uh, rocking the Mewtwo King tag because they are from the same region as of right now. So he's probably showing his boys some love for those of you guys who are in the chat and are a little confused. Uh, but yes, let's go ahead and jump right into it, man. Like you said, you know, playing the signature snake, we got to see the snake come out in full force at Ultimate Gamer and Nimbus. You know, two very strong tournaments back to back where he was just able to go ham. Um, he's obviously looking to keep that up here. Oh, the Nikita stuffing out the Flare Blitzer. Get that out of here. I don't even want to see that no more. Yeah, you saw him just throw that out there, immediately gets the kill. And this is actually game four. Wishes is up two to one against him. So if Wishes manages to take on this next game, it's going to be a set win for him. He's running off incredibly strong with that down throw into Vinewood. But unfortunately, Snake's a little heavier than most characters. You know, my man can live for a very long time. But outside up air, Wishes playing incredibly strong, trying to stay center stage and catching the up air. That's right. Uh oh, using his grenade against him, man. Nice stuff. It kind of ping ponged him uh, back and forth there just a moment ago. Let's see what goes down here. Trying to platform camp, trying to keep away here from Charizard. I understand the dangers of Charizard, some of these later percent. Snake, you know, some people feel like Snake struggles versus heavies, and some people feel like he doesn't. I kind of feel like he struggles a little bit versus heavies, uh, just because, you know, it could be a little bit difficult to, to kill some of these characters, um, you know, without your setups. You know, like versus uh, Ivysaur and Squirtle, you know, you catch them slipping at later percents, toss out up tilt, toss out forward tilt, you'll be in pretty good shape. but. Charizard, he's a just he's a, a different story, you know. He's is he easier to combo? Absolutely. But is he easier to kill though? Now that's that's something that's kind of just left up to Salem here. Yeah, it's something you're just gonna have to you know deal with. And Wishes has been staying, like you said, Wishes is staying on Charizard for an extremely long time because he's looking to try to take out this stock against Snake. But Snake's one of Snake's biggest plans that Salem's gonna be going for right now is trying to chill back. And once he gets the kill. He has a stock lead. He wants to go for trades now. He wants to throw out projectiles. He wants to throw out grenades. He wants to throw out projectiles. And if he finds an opportunity for them both to explode, he's going to take it because of the stock lead. He, he's trying to, he doesn't care if Salem loses this stock. It's the fact that if he takes on as much damage to wishes as possible to make it so that the kill will come naturally in the next stock, then why not go for it? Uh oh, and he switched completely back over to Charizard, wasting little to no time. And that's the thing about Ivysaur. Sometimes the match might go a little too slow. Typically, Ivysaur is going to be the one with the better projectile versus whatever character, but in a case versus Snake, he's matched. Okay, you have Nikita, we have grenades, and of course you have C4s where you can set up traps. I cannot set up shop with these anymore. You know, you can outrange me and stay away just like how I can stay away from you. And that might be a pacing in the match that he is just not trying to keep up with. He switches. Whoa, whoa, damn. Talk what, about him. What was that up to? Whoa, 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 whoa. What, what is, like, what's just popping up to? You see that? Like, what the hell? Like, the, the up tilt connected from behind Snake. Like, and then, like, uh, Charizard <laughs> wasn't even anywhere close, even while he was. But I, I don't know anymore. I just commentate matches, Aussie. I don't know anything no. anymore, man. <laughs> I'm just getting Dude, hard. I, I, sometimes I feel that, man. Because, like, that up tilt literally just catching. The, you can tell in Wish's demeanor right there. You saw his facial reactions. He was just like, that. he couldn't believe that he got killed by that either. So we're going to jump into this game five situation. We got between Wishes and Salem. Wishes representing Pokemon Trainer and Salem on Solid Snake himself. So again, going back to Pokemon Stadium 2, pretty normal stage to want to like start on. You know, it's a it's a safe counter pick, honestly. It most certainly is. It's not, it's not a bad stage by any means necessary. I think, uh, you know, the majority of the competitive players and not just in this bracket, just in the community will typically elect to go here first for good reasons. The stage obviously has more pros than any sort of real cons per se, but with that in mind, uh, you know, regardless of how we might feel about the match, it is Wishes right now with the lead, and, you know, he is just playing very, very well with Charizard, and I think he's kind of living up to the statement that maybe Snake struggles versus Heavies, because when we seen him play against the Buzz, remember, he was Team Squirtle and Team Ivysaur for the most part, but now we're seeing Charizard kind of be the front runner. so let's see what's about to go down here. Yeah, it might just be because of, like, the, you see him going for back air a lot with Charizard. It might be a way for him to try to, like, outspace Snake, 
to try to like get you try to jump in there because he knows he's gonna be taking damage anyways so might as well just go with like the guy who's gonna do damage himself as well with the flare blitz and now he's off stage yet again throwing out a lot of grenades i mean i respect the neutral air coming out from salem he was trying to apply a lot of shield pressure against wishes on that platform but sometimes it might just become a little too tough. You saw him holding shield easily. Just run, runs in there, gets the grab, sends him airborne, and gets the up air right afterwards. And this is a very important win for Wishes. Like, if Wishes doesn't get this win, there, there could be, like, a, some huge seating issues for him. He might get low seed or might not even make it into the bracket at all. So, a lot's riding on this game, Rob. Yeah, a lot is most certainly riding on this game. And I think Salem's very full aware of that as well, too. We're starting to see him play. A, I'm not exactly sure how some of those earlier matches went. I'm starting to see a bit of an adjustment here for Salem. Definitely relying more on his projectiles. Can Salem fight up close and personal? Sure. And is it easy to fight up close on Charizard? Yes, you can grab him and combo this character to oblivion. But he's like, I'm not even about to run that risk anymore because if you get too close for comfort, you're going to get seismic toss. So with this in mind, he's just setting up traps with grenades, using, while wow, even tossing out forward smash, using Nikita first hit in there. Anything that can keep Charizard out, he's going to use it to his advantage. There's the back throw, but I thought that that would have been an opportunity for seismic toss since he was kind of by the platform there that time. I think maybe he was just trying to like mix up his uh, di but regardless finally just goes for the seismic toss, toss at that high a percent again representing charizard whenever he gets snake to a high enough percent often they just go straight right back to him I, honestly charizard is, it seems to be the character that he feels most comfortable with against snake yeah and it makes sense you know like, uh, you know this something crazy typically happens with squirtle you know especially when it comes to the projectiles you know he goes into uh you know like withdrawal you know he's trying to dash around and really mix snake up but he has to also worry about not withdrawing into a projectile because then that puts him in that weird lag animation snake can come in and punish and then of course like we talked about before you have ivy sword and you play the long game now you're using your projectiles you're using your your fall away forward air using rage leap whatever the case may be but that snake is like well we can play this game if you really want to play it so charizard seems to be the best one just in terms of keeping the pacing of the match the way he wants it and also utilization of just set tools dash attack right through the beginning frames right there of oh my goodness of a uh, of that was a you know that was an incredibly scary situation for wishes you saw him go spamming flare blitz catches onto the shield lands onto that platform and you know salem was looking for that roll to the right to catch the up tilts but thankfully on Wish's point, again, he's just kind of spamming it that time. Managed to catch the shield, going to get punished for it again. Switches right back over to Ivysaur. Might switch over to Ch Charizard once he gets like one hit on the neutral. We'll just see what happens. No, I mean, yeah, honestly, he might just stick with the Ivysaur. Yeah, you know, the, the thing about the Flare Bliss is that it's, it's good for characters who have to approach. Like, okay, they're going to press a button and I'm going to beat it. But the thing about Snake is that he's going to... Oh, well, well anyway... He's going to stay away because he has the projectile, so he's not necessarily in that aggressive mindset like what you've probably seen earlier in some of Wishes' matches versus other competitors. So he's always ready. He's always enough uh, distance away and always at the ready to shield Flare Bliss and to punish it accordingly. And that's exactly what we're getting. You know, we're seeing him punish it and then go for up tilt immediately. And that's something that could be kind of throwing Wishes off. So whatever mix-up that you had in mind before Flare Blitz has to be 10 times as nasty now just to make sure it connects. Yeah, it's incredibly important that he actually does get that. So again, a wish is going in with a dash attack, tries to make Snake go airborne. Snake not too hard to get back down to the ground sometimes, depending on who he's fighting against. He can drop down grenades against his opponent to try to like cover his landings. But on other times against the likes of Charizard, if he just plays his cards right. Oh, but unfortunately gets spiked into oblivion for going for a risky flare blitz again onto the shield. You notice, I don't know how many times Wishes went for a flare blitz that game. I don't know if he was trying to use it because of the lag or if he actually thought it might have worked, but Salem just blocked it every single time. Managed to close out that game five. Salem winning it three to two in the final round of uh, Swiss Bracket.